So this is definitely a month of um, eclipses. Lots of moon activity going on this month. So one of those lunar cycles or one of those lunar events might be significant to you this month. The other thing that the moon card can mean is taking a deeper look at a situation. These two towers sort of mirror each other. Um, so closer inspection is kind of needed. So what are the kind of masks that we put on for others so that maybe others don't see our true selves? So there's a bit of a deception that happens with the moon. So we can be deceived by others. We can be deceived by ourselves. Um, or we simply might need to take a deeper look into a situation that's around us. Okay, stone nine. This is abundance. This is a feeling of safety and security. So this is feeling safe and secure in a material way. So you could be feeling like you have a lot of time, you have enough money, you have a lot of energy. We have Sphere 3. And this card is a little bit about feeling like you're lost in the woods. So gathering resources, but maybe the path forward is not so clear just yet. The Spear Queen. This could be an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius person who's significant. This can also be the qualities of the Spear Queen, who is passionate. She is energetic. She is confident. She's a multitasker. She's full of ambitions. She's very goal-oriented and she's a multitasker. The Grail Queen. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person, such as yourself. Or it could be someone with those qualities. So this could simply be you with those qualities or someone around you who has the qualities of the Grail Queen. She is very intuitive. She is very gentle, caring. She has very deep faith. She has a lot of trust and faith um, in God and the universe and herself and others. Sword 3. This indicates a separation, some type of separation or some type of destruction. So, sort of like the bridge has been lost, the connection between these two land masses is lost. So, um, again, there's this feeling of maybe being a little lost in the woods, and then we have this maybe feeling of separation here. But the thing is, we, we have Stone 10 directly underneath that, which is abundance. This is home, health, family. This is the inheritance card. We have the Grail Knight. So this is a message that makes you very happy. This could be an offer that makes you very happy. Someone is extending some type of offer to you, or you are extending some type of offer to someone else. This offer is generally emotional or spiritual in nature. So it could even be compassion, an offer of compassion, an offer of aid, um, an offer of love. It's going to be, you know, different for each person, but there is some type of offer being extended um, either by you or by someone else. And if this is you and your energy here, the ground light is riding toward Scorpio. So... Somehow, they're going to have to bridge this separation.
We have the Stone Knight. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck. My Stone Knight is meticulous and practical. He is a planner, a strategizer, and he's often very successful because of that. So the Stone Knight often comes in when they're encouraging you to slow down, not to rush into something, to take your time, to think it through, to plan, to strategize, and um, really examine each element and make sure everything is as it should be. Um, I sort of jumped <laughs> to Stone 10, so again, this could be the inheritance card. But this can also represent abundance, family, home, health, happiness. So really having that material success and abundance. And we have the round table. Now I love the round table as the wheel because everyone at the round table seated there is equal. They each have an equal voice, each have equal sway. So I find that very applicable to the to the Wheel of Fortune simply because sometimes fortune favors you and sometimes fortune favors another. So we are all equal in that aspect. When the round table appears, it's simply saying that fortune is favoring you at this time. So um, you're going to be really fortunate with something. And it might have to do with both this offer that's coming in or being extended and this separate and using your intuition. Okay, Scorpio. Inspirational qualification for Scorpio. There we go. We have the Morrigan, who says, take action. So with the Morrigan, face trouble rather than turning away. Confront injustice and change the rules by which you have felt bound. Break free from stagnating jobs and pursuits, relationships that offer no life source. Cross over into a more spiritual path and learn to work with your strength and your own ability to create deep change. So don't be afraid of your own power and know that you have been acting in integrity. So it says that this could be a turning point in your life and demands action on your behalf and backing down or avoidance is not the answer. Draw strong boundaries and claim your space. All right, thank you so much, Scorpio, and I hope you have a wonderful month of September. Take care.